Hello everyone, in this tutorial you will learn how to create this kind of title animations and in this tutorial for After Effects I will show you how to create it in easiest and fastest way possible without this works, uh, without this animating masks thing. It's really long and I will show you the fastest way. Also, also I will show you how to create these beautiful color styles by yourself. So, how to choose perfect color, how to make this beautiful effect. You see, it's pretty complicated, but still, I would promise you, it's super easy to do. And here we go, after effect. But we need to mm, they say thank you to Max Briss because I kinda still um, I'm kinda used his works in this example, so I think I should say sorry if you're watching this, Max. I'm sorry, but also I'm asking you, people, uh, ha take a look at his works. So he will. He won't be mad at me for using his works. And about perfect colors. Perfect colors, uh, personally, uh, there is a lot of options to see ready-to-use color palettes. And I advise you to use ready-to-use color palettes. This way, your colors will be always perfect because it's not your opinion. Because it's something that people liked because something popular. Uh, this way you won't have to hesitate and think is this color good or not. You already see that people love this color and you using colors that people love. It kind of good decision. And if you need some styles idea, well, you always could uh, just Google it and copy. No, um, use other works as inspiration for your works. It's not copying or stealing, but creativity is all about copying. And the third thing that we need is Autofill plugin that exactly will help you with uh, this kind of animation. Animated handwriting. That's exactly what this tutorial is about and Autofill creating it well, as you can expect, automatically, which is pretty cool. So all that complicated animations that you saw in this video were made automatically. And colors, perfect colors were taken from the internet. And styles were also taken from the internet. But Autofill plus perfect colors plus great styles combined will give you unique look. So it's something that you created, not just template or not just someone's work, because it's your decision to use exactly these colors, exactly these uh, styles, and how you will use Autofill also unique. So don't worry, it's the fastest and easiest and unique way to get the results that you're seeing right now in the video. So let's go. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to do it from scratch. So we are going to create composition. We're going to use solid, white solid, and then we're going to use and we're going to create text. We're going to create some moves, right? So we will type moves. Uh, and then we are going to apply outer fill effect. Oh, by the way, this thing is from Video Copilot and this thing is free and it's awesome because you can just type, for example, I need fill effect F and here it is fill. So I can just populate my layer with a lot of effects in a matter of seconds that also 
good advice. Remember it. <laughs> really, really, it saves time a lot. So, autofill. We applied autofill, right? And we having this dot. It's starting point from where to grow. For example, from here it will grow. Okay, not from here, from here, from middle. So, it will be more interesting to watch. Hit play and ta-da. That's it. That's how it is. We already having our handwriting. Uh, we can turn off our preview. Pre pre preview. Ta-da. But in example, I showed you that uh, here we can see that speed a little bit linear. We don't want that. Uh, we can use speed map feature. It called auto, and we can press view speed map. And how it works? Blackness means slower. Whiteness means faster. So if you will make map road higher, like that, for example, I don't know. Uh, what could you expect? You already could predict that in uh, black spots it will be slower and in white spots it will be faster. Let's just have a look. And now we having some speeding up, slowing down effect, which gives us this liquid look, which is nice. And I already like it. Also, it's a little bit slow. We can increase speed, but we can make another way. We can uh, make two points, for example. Let's turn on pre pre uh, let's turn on preview input. Let's start from here. Okay, we can make three of them. One, two, and three. And it was filled super fast. Okay, three may be too much. Okay, let's make it two. Let's double it and let's start from here. And let's start from here. Huh? But you know what? Uh, most often people reading from left to right, right? Or left. <laughs> uh, let's make it from left to right. So people will read and also observe how beautiful our animation is. Um, okay, maybe it's a little bit slow. 11. And maybe we can edit, maybe let's not make it so aggressive. Yeah, why not? And maybe let's make it seven. And that's how autofill work. You just you just uh, apply it and play with it, and that looks great. That looks nice. Also, maybe maybe I'm sorry. I'm going to uh, alpha moves. Let's turn on preview. And let's make it like that. And let's, uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, I am doing that because I wanted to show you something really important about autofill. Is that if you having disconnected elements, that's where you need two points. So A should start from here and M should start from here. So now it's more interesting to watch because moves. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. 
somehow alpha oh yeah because there is a line straight line but in fact it looks even more cooler like that okay then we are going to recreate this effect it's pretty simple we're going to create fill let's make it black this thing should be fill white then we need to copy it and shift a little bit and uh, our bottom text should be red and let's have a look what will happen Ta -da! cool i like it we also could make another copy shift it a little bit and the very bottom let's make it yellow like that wow okay <laughs> no really I, I don't know i like it look look how liquid these animations that's great okay yeah, maybe a little bit of adjustment layer and glow no okay that's not a part of the tutorial i'm sorry yeah and uh, let's choose as i said perfect colors perfect colors uh p -p -p let's make our background like that then second color should be this so as you can see i'm just copying colors uh, how i'm doing that uh, when you press on the color code copy it so and when i go here i go to a fill and here is color code and i'm just Control v it and now we have it and now this title animation is pretty trendy if you ask me pretty cool pretty nice um also you can just right away copy it a little bit like that and this should be shifted a little bit like that and uh, now we have some kind of 3d which is also great we should fix a little bit this part yeah look at that also also we can copy it a little bit more and uh, let's apply grid let's make this grid in a blending mode uh, stencil alpha so it will look like that and then uh, how it is like ah, invert grid yes and if you will make it really really small we will get what we can get dots little little dots and we can make it maybe maybe black oh no 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 perfect colors we should choose colors from this color palette and also we can shift them a little bit no we shouldn't so now we're having cool textile really fast and it was super easy to do and uh, with this technique when you're using auto fill when you're using ready to use color palettes and uh, for inspiration only some other guy textile you will get perfect handwriting animation of your not exactly handwriting cool title animation fluid 
complex animation for your projects. Cool, cool. So see you in the next tutorial. If you will have any questions, ask me in the comment section. I will answer. I will give you some links. Oh, yes, about links. It's colorhunt.co. It's not an advertisement. It's not an ad because you can use any color palette, any color palette website that you like. So that's it. I hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment and I will answer. Thank you very much.